It doesn't matter what we look like, we should all treat, treat ourselves with the same respect, even if we look different. Except, well, these kind of humanoids aren't really the most peaceful things around humankind. Adam, the leader of the White Fang, and Baraka, the leader of the Dark Cottons. I'm Wes Pierce, my dog to see who would win a fight. Faunus. A faunus is like a humanoid animal. Like humans with animal body parts. Well, except that humans kinda treat them like crap. Some faunus has been murdered and been treated terrible by the humans. So, they decide to form something called the White Fang. The White Fang is a murder group which actually does illegal stuff and actually wants to murder or even torture humans. And with the help of and with their deadly leader, their leader is known as Adam. Well, Adam was a majority leader of the White Fang, leading the group into a revolution against humanity. He stole, destroyed, murdered, and organized others so as I could do more. But what makes him tough is his aura. Well, like all Rubicators have, an aura can actually manifest one's soul. Manifest a force that can cover one's body. It can usually heal wounds or block deadly attacks, as Adam's aura appears to be red. What makes him t in his semblance, which all characters have, well, I mean, some characters don't, but Adam's semblance is called Moon Slice. Adam allows Adam to absorb energy through his sword, enabling him to store it and release it whenever he desires. As has been said to, to similar to Yang Xiaolong's semblance in some regards, Adam can release the energy in a single attack or through shockwaves of energy. It's capable of using stored energy to create after images with physical properties. Attacks vary as powerful depending on the amount of energy absorbing. Depending on the attack that is being absorbed, re requires prep preparation time depending on the energies absorbed and released, and cause targets struck and dis disintegrate. Create rose pill effect when targets are disintegrated. But usually, at, but or in some ways, not only what Adam has, he has the wit and blush. Adam's signature weapon. Wood is a colorless sword with a red blush, and blush is a raftle that serves in ship or white before wilt. By pulling a trigger, the blush while wilt is shittered, Adam can fire wilt and projectiles. Blush is capable of firing bullets as fully uh, atomic rifle, and wilt can use his construction with Adam's semblance enable him to absorb and block attacks with it. Adam, Adam has defeated six su super magics by himself, defeated multiple Aslan soldiers alongside Cena, Kai, and Lil Omtuk. Alongside of Plague took out multiple Asian Knight 130s, destroyed the Spire Drod with a single strike using Moon Slice, cut Yang's arm off, nearly killed Blake, Blake and Yang during the Battle of Beacon. Sage at Coppins killed Sina Khan, taking control of the White Fang. So right of fall that results of him crashing through several trees, was able to survive getting hit by Yang's motorcycle, held his own against Blake and Yang, long as well overpowering both of accomplishing for their fight. An exactly in coordination fire, capable of overpowering Blake with a blindfold corny of his finest sense. But Adam is not perfect. Aura is finite can be overconfident and arrogant to a fault, his temper and nature can make him lash out, becomes unstage of anger if it thinks do not go his way, making him rasher and more emotional the emotion battle. Large amount of energy based attacks required preparation times to absorb. Adam can unlikely unlies his semblance through wilt. Without wilt, Adam's main method is combat is unavailable and cannot use his semblance. His incredible spitfully obsession, especially over Blake, causing him to proofly focus on exactly revenge and satisfying his hatred over success and the bonkers of actions. But still, Adam is no pushover. You will probably die if you actually be able to face him. No. It's time we stood up for ourselves. Adam! Our kind's been beaten, murdered, treated like dogs. Taking this dust is only illegal in the eyes of the same people that call us animals. Mortal Kombat. The Elder Gods have created this called Mortal Kombat, which each realm from another realm has to actually compared to fights to the death. And whoever wins nine times get to actually conquer the realm. 
as Earth Realm, which Raiden, which is Raiden, which Raiden protects, is actually compared to fight the Ever Realm called Outworld. Al Khan, which is actually the leader of the Outworld, has a lot of combatants to actually fight the Earth Realm and actually compared to win. Like like lit like humanoid lizards, Shokans with forearm combatants, but one of the most deadliest combatants of Shokan's reinforcements is named Baraka. Now Baraka is a Tarkin. As Tarkins, well, they don't really live good as humans. But Baraka, well, he actually does not like humans and wants to actually wants to take over. See, so yeah, Baraka is he's a Tarkantin, and you know Tarkins usually have their own Tarkantin blades, approximately four feet. Where Tyler is housed in each arm, he can remove and grow new ones. His dark cotton teeth, back, and shoulder spikes can be fired from his body as well. Or banner, razor canes. As Baraka is, as like other more combat characters, he has a good move list. The flying shard, triple of flying shard, chop chop blades, blade swipe, blade spin, air blade spin, blade charge, scrap kick, Baraka barrage, blood lunge, spin burst, leg cop. Boots, gun, spike, Barak, Baraka, Circer, War Banner, Charge, War Banner, Bash, Stalk, X Remove, Nail, and Impale, and Smith's Face, Talibro, Scootward. As strength, he is separated an ordinary Tarkantan who can match Melina. Melina is said to ha have the strength compared to, sh uh, to a Shokan, can punch another warrior's head, uh, head clean off, compared to Zazero who can rip apart cyborgs with ease. Compared to Tamar, who is stated to have enough power to destroy a city. Compared to Rain and Raiden, both have womb and summon control thunders. As speed can create numerous aftermarks with his slash, scales to Sub Zero, who avoids Sector's rockets, and has kept up of Quan Chi, who can react to lightning, and has keep up of Kotokan, who can redirect sunlight, and can somewhat keep up with Melina. As t he's a compared to co combat combatants who can completely survive and fought after resilient crippling blows, barely faced Johnny Cage attempts to hurting him. Compared to combat who survived lightning from Raiden, compared to Kenshi who survived a blast from Scorpion's fireball, burst off falling stories high, and can survive rains around the world kick. And scales. He is the most intelligent and same time brutal member of his race, dealing so much damage to Jack's Briggs arms and he he lost his ability to feel them. This eventually led him to her then just become Shao Kahn's reinforcer after seeing Hanley defeating a rebel faction, lead the Tarkarn army to attack the Wuxi Academy and kidnap Sonya Blade, freed Molina from her prison and redirected uh, Onaga's army. And Battle of Armageddon killed Kung Leung in, in, in the seconds of Zero. And a new timeline was Melina's enforcer when she became the Empress, Empress of Outworld. His past self and Larry joined Katana's force, and along with the rest of the Dark Continents, took part in the final battle against Kronok's army. Baraka is. Well, Baraka may be tough, he's still not invincible. Blood first seen ruthless, more a following than a leader. Special attacks leave him wide open, but first going berserk on his opponent instead of using a strategy. Has a bad track record, lost to Giant Cage, but still, Dark Contents are no pushovers. You would probably get ripped to pieces if you fought a Torcotten. <laughs> You're no faster than a Tarkatan! Put your money where that big mouth is. I'll put my blades in yours. Alright, the commands are set. Let's sell this. But first, I'll go check out the prediction votes. Hmm. 24% for Adam and 76% for Baraga. Well, let's say they're right or wrong. Let the battle begin.
Well, I guess we got a new White Fang leader. Anyway, why did Barack go win? Now, this matchup was surprisingly really close. Adam was a lot fa was quite faster than Baraka and has a lot has a better agility than Baraka, and he's quite a smarter depending on how this battle works. But Adam kind of fell a little short. Baraka was a lot stronger, as scaling to Zeb Zero, who can tear apart Cyborg's armor, and can scale to Molina, who has shown his strength by Shokan. And he's a lot tougher too, taking hits from stronger foes, and has been and shown to take hits from a lot of impaling wounds and got back up. Now everyone's gonna say that action Adam speed blitz since he can actually scale the characters who can dodge lightning. Now Adam is a lot faster than Baraka, but Baraka has kept up a foes with a similar speed as Adam. Baraka is a lot more experienced too, has been much older and fought foes that are more experienced than Adam. Well, Adam could strategize and probably sense Baraka, but Baraka could sense and strategize too, making this a lot more even. Now let's talk about now what gave Baraka the win is Adam has never actually fought anyone that was like Baraka. True, he managed to hold his own against Yang and Blake, but Barack Gunny ever managed to fight ninjas and people with blades and even gods. He managed to even hold his own against Kokon, and Kokon was able to destroy a ship. And he can even scale the characters who took hits from Raiden's lightning. While Adam Simplest Moon Slice would actually might give him a win, but it only takes a lot of prep time. And thanks to Baraka's brutality in fighting skills, and keeping up foes with similar speed, it would probably Adam would not have a good chance of using Moon Moon Slice to on Baraka since Baraka has kept up foes with similar speed and being a lot more brutal than Adam and being more experienced. And could even actually overpower Adam's aura. So Adam does Adam's speed, agility, and somewhat would actually give Baraka a tough time. But Baraka's greater strength, durability, fighting experience, and deadlier moves to overpower Adam's aura. Well, well, looks like this Faunus couldn't cut it. The winner is Baraka.